Okay guys, we're here now. We're going to start making some um, birch trees. And what I did is I went outside and picked up some uh, twigs off the ground. And, um, you know, you can make them any size you want. <clears throat> All I need is um, some black paint and some white paint and two different paint brushes a wider one and a narrower one and then I'm going to get some uh, lynching medium green uh, from Woodland Scenics L163 I'll put that in the um, description and I have to go pick that up today and um, so I'm just going to show you how I paint the branches and um, then we'll continue with the rest of it and the other stuff, yeah, these are very simple. All you need is some Elmer's white glue, uh, the two paints, two paint brushes, and the uh, lichen. And you have a tree. And it might take only a few minutes to make each one. So we're just going to take the white paint out of here and just paint the tree until it's totally, uh, you can't see that, can you? Let me um, lift that up here a little bit higher. Yeah, see, I'm just painting it white. Like so. And then I'm going to probably break off. This, this is like 11 inches tall. And... Um, I'm going to make it like 9 inches, but I'm going to need a little bit to push into the foam, so I have that little extra there at the bottom, and I'll just break off when I'm done. So that looks pretty good, just like that, and then I'll wait till that dries, and then I'll put some uh, spots of black on it. Let's see if I can get it closer to the camera here. So that's it. And then I'll put some touches of black on that. I'll come back for that later. And we'll see how it looks. And then uh, when I get the lynching put on it, I'll show you the rest of the tree. And then we got another tree. So um, we'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, this one dried. I painted a couple more up top there, I'll show you. Um, now what we do is, um, let me see if I can get this up higher. There we go, a little bit better, a little bit higher. There we go. Um, move that over. Okay, so now um, what we're going to do is just put some black paint on, just a little bit. And just pick a few spots, because trees, nothing's perfect out in the tree world. And we just put black dots around all the way up. coming in there you go that looks pretty much like a Get a little closer, and then I'm going to go get the greens to put on it, and um, we'll have a birch tree. So I'll be back in a little while, and um, we'll go from there. Okay, we're back now. 
I uh, got at the local hobby shop this uh, Litchen Medium Green item number L163 from Woodland Scenics. And um, all you need is some Elmer's glue. And what we do is take this and we put glue on the top of the tree here. I need to get more Elmer's glue because uh, it's running out. But uh, and then I just take my finger and move it down a little bit. Of course, need a rag. Wipe that off, and we just put some on here like so just like that and then maybe a little down here like I said the Elmer's glue is have to go to the store and get some I guess but just to show you how I do this Doesn't want to stay up there. Have to put a little more glue on it. I guess I have to get some more glue, but um, that's all you have to do. Let's try this again. And then once that dries, then you add a little more on to give it a little more. So we'll come back in a little while to do that. Maybe I'll have more glue by then. And um, we'll go from there. Oh, it fell off. <laughs> I'll have to add it on there. But um, that's the uh, general idea. Okay, off camera, I did to squeeze out a little more extra glue out of the Elmer's glue thing there and I put a little more green on that tree so I'm letting that dry before I plant it so um, but that's what you do and you can add a little more or make it a little fuller if you want and I added a little bit down there you know it it, it makes it look good and um, it you know everything I had in stock except for the lynching which I had to go to the hobby shop to get and I had the paint already and um, so I'm gonna make up these seven and then I got a couple more uh, twigs that I got in so I'm gonna make up a couple more and spread them around the layout so um, I'll be back with um, showing um, planting this these are pretty thick so I'm gonna to have to figure out what kind of hole I'm gonna to have to make in the in the foam to get them to stick in because they don't like to uh, penetrate this foam and this is what's on the layout so I'm gonna to have to probably get my uh, hand drill and drill a little hole and then uh, stick it in there so they're different thicknesses some are a little thicker than others 
Um, but um, I was driving around today looking and trying to get to this hobby store and I was looking for birch trees but I couldn't see any. But uh, I know they're around here because when I grew up my mom and dad put a birch tree in the front yard so um, and it looks pretty much like that. But the one that they had in their yard had a split in it. So I got one twig that looks like that. So I'm going to make that and see how that looks. But uh, we'll be back with the rest of them. Uh, so we'll see you in the next session. And we'll uh, close this uh, out on how to make these. And then we'll recap it and uh, explain all the steps again. So we'll see you uh, soon. Okay, gang, we're here on the layout now, and uh, this is the first uh, birch tree, and uh, I just had to break it off a little bit, it was a little too high, and I drilled a hole just by hand, and I just took a drill bit and spun it through the foam, that's pretty easy, and um, I'm just going to put it there. I'm going to fill up the hole with some Elmer's glue. And just push it in the hole. And it'll dry. I got to um, get something to put in that hole. Just to make the tree stand up a little straighter. I'll just use a little toothpick until the... the until the glue dries. There it is. That's, that's better. So that's that's the birch tree so I got some more to make and um, we'll go from there so basically all you have to do is go out pick up some twigs out of your yard everybody should have some of those and then you take the twigs I just cleaned them off a little bit with a rag just get any uh, eggs or bugs off of them Mine were pretty clean, but I just wiped them off. Then you paint them white, and you let the white dry, and then you um, paint the black dots on them, and then you uh, add the lichen on there, uh, and then once that's dry, you just um, add more lichen on if you want, and make the tree how you like it, and then just plant them. So I'll put in the description the parts and the steps and um, you can uh, make your trees. If anybody needs any help, uh, feel free to reach out to me and um, we'll uh, give you a hand. So this is Tom and everybody uh, happy model railroading and we'll see you in the next video. So everybody take care. Just wanted to give you a close-up of the birch tree. And uh, now that it's in place, those lights underneath uh, the second level, I, I tell Alexa to turn on the sunlight, and that gives me light underneath there so I can see what's going on. There are LEDs that I put in. I added that to that section. I didn't have them there before so I could see what's going on back underneath there. Because when I put up my um, backdrops over the window there, I lost a lot of light. And uh, so it makes it a lot easier. I did get a limo in. Um, I got it painted. It's sitting there in front of the church. So the hearst is there limos there and other cars there 
I got another car that I got to paint yet. I'll add that to the scene. And then I have some more um, people for a funeral scene to add. But um, I'm waiting to get my 3D printer to uh, add them in. And uh, so we'll see what that does. So um, there's my schoolyard. And I, I painted all the people. And you got people on the sliding board, a couple people playing basketball there. Someone sitting at the picnic bench, someone on the round thing there, someone on the swings. So that's the schoolyard um, scene. And um, more detail. And we'll get the trains running soon. Been working on all these trees. There's my oak trees. Some of them over there, there, there's one there, one up there. I didn't put any on the other side here, but um, that's those that I made. And well, you all saw the pine trees, so um, they're there, and now all these birch trees are gonna get scattered around the layout. I got some spots that I want to put them in and um, we'll see how it all looks and then once I get my trains running I'll do a video of all the trains running so we'll see you soon. This is Tom and happy trains.